In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the equation of a line if we do not know the y-intercept. Most of the time, we actually don't know the y-intercept, at least not exactly, and so we're going to have to find the y-intercept. We'll use the equation y equals mx plus b, plug in everything we know so that we can solve for that b. So for example, if we have the equa we want the equation of a line that passes through 6, negative 2, and has a slope of 4, we know 6 can represent an x value, negative 2 represents a y value, and the 4, that's the slope, which we always use the letter m for. We call y equals mx plus b. What we'll do is plug in everything we know to find b, the y-intercept. The y-value we're given, there's several we could use, but the one we're given is negative 2, equals m, our slope, which we just said was 4, times x, the x-value from our point is 6, plus b. Well, 4 times 6 is 24, so we have negative 2 equals 24 plus b. We can quickly get the b alone by subtracting 24 from both sides, and we get negative 26 equals b. We now know that y-intercept that we didn't know to begin with. So we go back to y equals mx plus b to get the generic formula for any point. If we want the formula for any point, we keep x and y, we'll just replace m and b y equals m, the slope we were told is 4, x, plus b, we just calculated to be negative 26. We now have the equation y equals 4x minus 26 is the line that passes through 6, negative 2, and it will have a slope of 4. Let's try another example, this one with a fractional slope of negative 2 thirds. Again, in much the same way, the x is negative 3 and the y is 5. That's a really bad y. Maybe I'll put it above here, x, y, there we go. Negative 2 thirds is the slope. We always use m to represent the slope, and we know that y equals mx plus b. Ideally, we want the slope and the y-intercept. We have the slope, but not the y-intercept. So what we'll do is we'll go back and plug in everything we know. y is 5 from our point, equals m, the slope of negative 2 thirds, times x, which is negative 3, plus b, we don't know. Simplifying the fraction, negative 3 over 3 is negative 1, and negative times a negative is going to be a positive. So we've really got 5 equals positive 2 plus b. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, we end up with 3 is equal to b. We now know the slope and the y-intercept. We're ready to use the equation y equals mx plus b to get the generic equation for any xy point. y is equal to the slope, negative 2 thirds, times x, plus b, which we just found to be. So if we don't know the y-intercept, we can quickly find it by using any random point and the slope to calculate b.